Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea and today we're going to talk about how do you clean your old teapots. So let's talk through some general rules. Um, you don't necessarily need to know the age of your teapot, but if you've inherited teapots that have been handed down, this was my grandmother's, um, you're going to find trying to get kind of tea stains out of them a little tricky because the glazes are old. Some of the glazes are not as good quality as modern day glazes, so they're not going to withstand um, a tough scrubbing. So how do you get tea stains out of teapots? There's a couple of different ways to do it. The first rule is don't scrub. You want kind of a tar cloth towel. Do not use the backside of a sponge uh, because what you're going to do is if the glaze is already in bad shape, you're going to keep chipping off the glaze and the tannic acid from your tea is going to keep absorbing it and it's going to be really hard to get off. So the fun part of this is, is really you're going to start with boiling water. So on a teapot like this that has a glazed inside, right, you're going to fill it with hot water and you're going to let it sit and you're going to let it sit probably about half an hour, hour, and you're going to drain it out. That's a great technique if you are currently using a teapot um, to do this after you've brewed your tea and drunk it for the day. Don't think just because you look in there and you don't see tea stains that the tannic acid's gone. It's not. Uh, the tannic acid will build up over time. That's what's going to give you kind of those browning, especially around the end of your teapot. With the tannic acid buildup, you can stop it by putting boiling water in, give it about 10, 15 minutes. It's okay if you walk away. It's not going to re-adhere after you've put the boiling water in there. The tannic acid's going to come out. You're going to pour it out with the water. You can dry it off with a towel um, and put away your teapot and be safe. Uh, so that's the easiest way to maintain and get them out. If you have really stubborn stains um, around the edges, lemon. I know this sounds crazy. What you're going to do is you're going to rub the end of the spout with a lemon wedge. And your goal is to just kind of get lemon juice in around there. The wedge is not going to scratch, obviously. You're going to put a little bit of elbow grease in, but then you're going to let it sit. And it may need to sit at least about 30 minutes again, maybe a couple of hours if you think you got enough liquid in there. Wipe it off with the towel, see how the stain's doing, go back at it again if you have to. It's gonna be a slow process, but keep in mind, you're trying to preserve an old teapot um, that is fragile. So this is a process where you're gonna to have to have a little bit of patience, but the lemon juice will do a great job over time in minimizing the stains. And then you use boiling water to remove the juice off the teapot. So again, fill it up, pour it over. Um, this is perfect, like just work in a kitchen sink because that way you get the liberty of just pouring a whole bunch of boiling water over the tip of your teapot into the sink. It'll rinse off the lemon juice and you'll be good to go. So that's one way to go at this. If you have a more modern teapot, it's a little bit more recent, fully glazed, you can absolutely resort to good old baking soda and vinegar, okay? To help remove internal stains. Don't do it too often. The baking soda will scratch the glaze over time. But if you use a soft cloth after you've put in the baking soda and vinegar, of course it's gonna foam everywhere, so make sure you're working over a sink. Um, you can use the soft cloth to kind of rub around. It'll quickly take off the tannic acid stains for you. Then you can rinse out. You're going to need to definitely, with baking soda, be forewarned. Um, you will know you didn't rinse it out completely if your tea all of a sudden gets salty. So you're going to want to make sure you rinse through boiling water on these. But your more modern teapots that are fully glazed definitely um, can handle a little bit something stronger than lemon juice. Now. If you happen to have an unglazed pot, um, and I absolutely love mine, this is one of my pu'er pots, um, your only choice is hot water, and it is a slow process. And what do I mean by this? What you're going to do the first couple of times if you need to kind of clean out a pot like this is you're gonna fill it with the boiling water and you're gonna quickly pour out. And you're gonna keep doing this. And what you're gonna notice as you pour is that the color of the water coming out, it will start brown as it starts to pull the tannic acid out of the clay. It will also pull out the natural color of the clay. So you're never gonna get back to clear. If you manage to get back to clear, you got lucky. Um, you can consider your teapot cleaned out and you can try again. Uh, generally speaking, with your unglazed teapots, the rule is one tea, one pot, because the tea is gonna impart its own flavor into the clay and the clay is gonna exchange. Um, and the clay is a porous, 
surface. So if you go and try to use baking soda on it or lemon juice, guess what your tea is gonna taste like? It's gonna get salty. It's gonna taste like lemon water and you're gonna have a really hard time getting it out. And so when you have a pot like this, part of the goal of the pot is to age. So you're gonna allow the tannic acid to build. Um, if you really don't want it to and you wanna make sure you preserve it, what you do is, as I mentioned earlier, after you've drunk your tea, get your leaves out of that pot um, and then get your boiling water in and rinse it out a couple times before you put the pot away. Uh, but in that case, um, in this case, at least with my guy here, what I will do periodically, especially if he's been in the cabinet for a while and I haven't used him, um, bring him out. I will pour him down with hot water a couple times before I actually brew my tea in it. Um, and then I'll at least get the dust and dirt off uh, as well as kind of keep him clean. So as you go about your, your teapots that are porcelain, that's a great way to, to care for them uh, and keep exploring tea. We hope you enjoyed learning more about tea with us. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.